fonts, typeface, typography, type family. Are they different? Are they the same? And how does it all apply to UI design? Let's talk about what's up with type right now. Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth from Designer Up, helping you level up your product design skills. Sometimes we hear these terms used interchangeably, but they're not actually the same. And there are some distinct differences that can be helpful to know as a UI or web designer. So first we have type classification. This is the main style category or group. The most common ones used on the web for UI designs are sans serif, serif, slab serif, and handwriting or script. There's also display, decorative, monospace, and black letter. There are others, but those are more commonly used in graphic and print design, where the focus is more on aesthetics rather than readability, usability, responsiveness, and interaction. Next, we have typeface, which is the design or style of the actual alphabetic letters themselves. So, Helvetica New, Alpha Slab 1, Times New Roman, Open Sans, those are all names of typefaces. A font is a digital representation of a single version of that typeface with one weight, one width, and one style of that typeface. So Helvetica New Bold is a completely different font than Helvetica New Italic or Helvetica New Regular. Likewise, Alpha Slab 1 Regular times New Roman Italic or Open Sans Condensed are all individual fonts. Type family is the collection of all of the fonts. So Helvetica regular, oblique, light oblique, bold, bold oblique, all together form the type family of Helvetica with all of the fonts. Typography is how the font is applied, arranged, and treated in context. So here we have a header that's in a thick black letter serif font. We have a sans serif body, and we have a little subtitle that's all caps and has our brand color. So the placement, how much spacing is between them, the size, the grouping, all of that is the arrangement and treatment, which we call typography. One more thing. Typography is an art and a science, and there's much more to it than this. We go really deep into it in our product design master course. So if you're interested in going through the entire design thinking process with yours truly, come check it out. Back to the video. An online foundry is a place that you can go to find and download these fonts, and you can sort or filter by these different attributes. There are a lot of different foundries, both large and small, and two of the most popular ones are Adobe and Google Fonts. Now let's take a look at some font usage in actual UI designs. Bamboo HR uses a combination of two typefaces on their homepage, both Google Fonts. If we inspect this a little deeper, we'll see that the header is the type classification of sans serif. The typeface is Fira Sans for the heading and Lotto for the body. The font for the heading is Fira Sans italic, and it's a bold or black weight. The font of the body is Lotto, and it's normal with a regular weight of 400. The typographical treatment for the heading is 48 pixels and 60 pixels of line height, and for the body, size 17 pixels with 28 pixels of line height. And if you're wondering about the cool plugin that I use to find this out, that's called What Font, and it's available as a Google Chrome extension. Check out my top favorite 10 Chrome extensions for UI designers in this video linked above. Another example, which incidentally is a product that we proudly partner with to give our students an exclusive discount to, is Userbit. And if we analyze their fonts and typography, you'll see that they use Inter, which is another Google typeface designed by Rasmus Anderson. And this is a sans serif font. That's the type family. And Inter Black 
is the heading and interregular is the subheadings. And the typographic treatment is 42 pixels for the heading and 46 for the line height. So hopefully this clears up some of the differences and gives you better command of the language and terminology around these things. In future videos, I'll be talking about some of the best practices and principles for typography, so you might want to stay subscribed and stay tuned to the channel. In the meantime, check out my other video on typography tools and hacks to help you find and pair fonts a lot quicker and easier. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.